next we have uh, general table space uh, the general table space uh, is a shared NODB table space uh, that is created uh, using uh, create table syntax uh, general table space capabilities are uh, feature and describe I will uh, tell you later on uh, what are these a general table space can be created outside of the MySQL data directory uh, and they are capable of holding multiple tables and support tables of all row formats row what are uh, what are the row formats uh, which is uh, row formats uh, like uh, fixed row format uh, we have compressed row format and we have dynamic row format and all of these row formats are can be used so uh, we have here is uh, the memory advantage because uh, uh, memory advantage here is that uh, what you do is uh, you create multiple tables tables in this uh, table space and it does not consume uh, do does not create many processes for create uh, for opening opening the files so that's say we have a memory uh, memory can is not used too much and we have yes support both formats is uh, antelope and barracuda uh, file formats uh, i have discussed these uh, antelope and barracuda file formats in my previous videos uh, you can go and check that uh, like how what are the what are these file formats and yes uh, supports all row formats and associated feature possible to create outside the directory same is the case with this you have to provide uh, you have to tell your mysql database that uh, this is my another uh, directory location so you have to restart this for that for letting him to know what is your another uh, directory so uh, creation of uh, temporary general table space is not supported you cannot get any temporary general table space and you general table space do not support any temporary tables tables as well so these are the two things uh, you cannot do these two things uh, so if I give you an example of creating a general table space uh, it is this is how you can create at any uh, general table space okay uh, let's say I telling him that we don't have TS1 yes okay so create a table uh, general table space and this is the table space created and this is the data file which I mentioned here TS1 TS1 dot IB D dot this is a data file if you see here uh, I have created this and it has uh, given uh, I have given the name of the data file so it has uh, created the same name if I don't provide uh, the data file name what it will do is I can also do it like this I am telling him that create a table space like TS55 it will create a table space but when I check it, uh, check it 55, it has uh, given its own name, and this is uh, the difference. Where, uh, like in both ways, you can create a table space. Uh, if you want to drop any uh, general table space, uh, this is how you do it. TS uh, 55. This is how you can drop. But before dropping the table uh, table space, you have to drop any tables. Uh, which is inside this table space you can also drop uh, multiple table space ts1 and ts2 you have sql syntax error i think it's not tables are allowed but uh, multiple table spaces are not allowed i think table space yeah so this is how you can drop uh, the table spaces uh, general table space uh, so it was uh, this is was about the general table space uh, okay next is uh, we have uh, yes you can also uh, rename a table space uh, alter table space uh, rename uh, just a minute i have a uh, variable security yeah this 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 like i have uh, ts1 is here i think i didn't drop ts1 so this is how you can drop a table space uh, rename a table space as well so now if you see uh, we had a table space ts1 and ts1 data, but now you see the data file is the same name but the name of the uh, table space has been changed so this is how uh, you can uh, rename the table space but it will uh, cre uh, create a lock on your uh, data files uh, at the start and at the end of the execution of the so yes uh, it is 
not uh, it is a uh, lock creating uh, transaction so this this uh, this activity will uh, lock your tables okay so there are some limitation uh, uh, on generative space uh, like uh, when you uh, like you use uh, alter table uh, discard table space and other table import table space are not supported for tables uh, that belongs to general table space these are a few uh, few uh, operations which is not allowed on your general table space and uh, as few have already mentioned about uh, temporary table spaces and uh, temporary tables inside this so this was about uh, general table space uh, next we have undo table space uh, undo table space contains undo logs uh, which are collection of undo logs uh, which records the data and records uh, information about how the undo and the latest change by a transaction uh, to a cluster index records so these are stored inside this so the undo uh, if uh, like so undo records uh, the information about how the undo and the latest change by a transaction to a cluster index or uh, to data so if another transaction needs to see that original data uh, so that unmodified data is retrieved from the undo records to that user so if you want to if some user is uh, editing the data and another user want to do, want to get the data uh, at the same time so the if the data is not committed to the data files so it will the old data will be provided to the second user from the undo uh, undo table space so this is the use of uh, the undo table space this undo in odb role vex variable in odb role based segment variable is used uh, uh, number of role back segments allocated to each undo table space so by default uh, we have two undo table space and they are created when the mysql uh, is initialized uh, we, which is named by undo 001 and undo 002 let me show you them as well uh, if you can see from here uh, this this is the undo table spaces we have undo 001 and 002 and they have the data files okay so if i let's exit and uh, let me show you what the disk level oh, okay so these are the undo table spaces we have okay so this is the undo table space and uh, the data files so uh, this is the undo table uh, data file okay so uh, the undo table space file must have an ibu extension while you are creating any undo table space uh, it must have this undo uh, like this uh, iob extension so you can manage the undo size uh, table space through dynamic variable like uh, nodb max undo log size uh, this is how uh, you can uh, use this so from this query you can get uh, the information uh, let's copy it from here and uh, let me see okay so i didn't copy it sorry think uh, i had a qd generative space I don't know what's wrong with the query. Okay, but the it's what it will does that uh, this will give you like uh, file where file type is undo log. So you can get it from this schema, uh, select theory for information schema file, and you can use this query. Okay, so this was about the uh, undo table space. Uh, if you want to create any additional undo table space, you can create it using uh, this undo table space test three two two t. Uh, let's create the undo table space here now. Uh, so this is how you can create an undo table space. Uh, I will show you the undo table space which I have created uh, here. I have created this undo test two two, and I told you that this should be the uh, undo table space name. Uh, the instruction. Uh, this is the extension used for the undo table space. Yes, uh, you can uh, drop the undo table space. Uh, for drop the undo table space, we have to set it to uh, inactive first. Uh, okay, this was a, not the name. What was the name? Two two. 
okay so that's how you make it first inactive so once it's inactive you can check from here so once you are it is inactive and the state is empty this means that it is ready to drop so now we can drop the undo table space okay so let's uh, see if it has been dropped or not uh, you see the result is not coming and uh, let's check from the uh, system table space file so we don't have this undo table space anymore so this is how uh, we have uh, drop uh, create and you can drop the uh, undo table spaces uh, okay next we have is uh, temporary uh, table space okay uh, nodb actually use uh, two type of uh, table spaces uh, we have this uh, temporary table space we have uh, using session level table spaces and global uh, temporary table space uh, okay so what is uh, session level temporary table space uh, session temporary table space store user created temporary tables and internal uh, temporary tables created by optimizer when nodb is configured as storage engine on disk uh, for on disk in uh, internal temporary tables so this is uh, this is where uh, you store the session temporary which you are use your temporary tables which are being created by the user so and another we have is, is the global temporary table space uh, storage to keep and retrieve uh, modified uncommitted data uh, for temporary tables and related objects it was introduced is in 5.7 and so uh, undo logs uh, for temporary tables inside resides inside this uh, temp table space and default table space file uh, is uh, ibt temp uh, ib temp1 uh, which is created once you start the database uh, if i show you here uh, this is our temporary table space is a global temporary table space and this is the name of the ibt mp table one so advantages is performance gain by avoiding redo logging because uh, of our temp tables and related objects it does not uh, create any redo logging so this is not io extensive so this is the good part of this and okay so nodb data file path this is uh, where uh, this will show you uh, the nodb data file path and uh, it is not required it does not require uh, once if the database is crashed so because it's a temporary data so this is uh, how you can create it uh, you can also create a uh, temporary table space outside of the data dictionary outside the data dictionary means uh, like you can create it outside any uh, remote directory uh, and same is the case with that you have to uh, tell uh, your database you have that this is the directory and here i want to create uh, nodb table space uh, what the while you're creating it outside what you do is you tell them uh, a variable it is called nodb directories you provide an argument to that and this will create uh, an outside uh, data file okay so this was uh, all about your undo table space uh, sorry temporary table space and next we have is the double buffer write <coughs> okay okay just a minute what is double buffer write uh, actually this uh, double buffer write is used uh, it's, a, it's a storage uh, area located inside the system uh, table space where nodb writes pages that are flushed from the nodb buffer pool uh, before the pages are written to their proper position in the data file uh, only after flushing and writing pages to the double for write uh, the game is <coughs> that uh, nodb uh, buffer pool does not write uh, extensively to it's not only write to the uh, nodb uh, data files but it also write it into the double uh, double buffer write okay so 
if uh, any crash happens so and uh, the InnoDB uh, the MySQL uh, once it comes back it cannot find a good copy uh, on of the pages on the disk level uh, then it will look for at the double buffer right and it will sync uh, the pages available the good copy of pages available in the buffer uh, double buffer right uh, to your uh, what do you say the data file so uh, this is uh, this has been in introduced uh, into MySQL uh, to uh, go to perform a, a consistent crash recovery so this is why they use uh, this double buffer right so next uh, we have this uh, redo log uh, redo logs uh, so which is used for the redo log is a disk based uh, data structure and used uh, during uh, crash recovery uh, to correct data written by incomplete transaction okay so this is uh, okay so if the transaction date is not finished updating the data file before uh, an unexpected MySQL uh, server shut down uh, and they are replayed automatically at the time of MySQL uh, startup even uh, before taking any connection so uh, by default the read log uh, is physically represented on disk by two files name is uh, IB log file 0 and IB log file 1 so MySQL what does is it writes to this read log file in a circular fashion and um, data in the read log is encoded in terms of record affected uh, this data is collectively referred to as redo okay so the passage of the data through the read log is represented by an ever increasing log sequence number so this is how it works uh, you can also change the number of sizes uh, of the read log files uh, to change the number of uh, uh, the number or the size of the read log files you have to to stop the MySQL server and make sure that it's shut down without any error then you have to do is that uh, you have to edit my uh, my.config file uh, and change the log file configuration to change the log file configuration you have to use a variable uh, which is called uh, nodb log file size uh, to increase the number of log files uh, uh, you have to uh, configure nodb log file uh, in group so and then you have to start this uh, MySQL server and it will create an extra uh, it will create an extra uh, value uh, extra redo log and extra redo log group if you change the redo log group uh, size okay uh, this is uh, uh, all about your uh, redo log file and we have undo log segment as well uh, the undo log uh, is a collection of undo logs record uh, associated with a single read write transaction uh, an undo log record contains information about how to undo the latest change by a transaction to a cluster index record uh, if another transaction needs to see the original data as a part of consistent read operation the unmodified data is retrieved from the undo log record so undo logs uh, exist within the undo log segment uh, which are contained uh, within the rollback segment a rollback segment reside in uh, undo table space and in the global temporary table space okay so undo logs that reside in the global temporary table space are used for transaction uh, that modify data in user defined temporary table space and the undo logs uh, are not redo log uh, as they are not required for crash recovery so they are used only for rollback while the server is running and this type of undo log benefit performance by avoiding redo logging io so uh, you can change uh, the uh, rollback number of rollback segments by variable nodb rollback segments uh, which will help you so this is how uh, the nodb uh, undo redo and this is the structure how it works uh, i skipped the here two uh, structures which is table and index uh, we will discuss this in future and uh, stay tuned uh, i will be coming up with more and more session uh, this is uh, our